I have jelly. You do? Yeah. You want to eat one? Okay. Do you want to start thinking jelly? What? Okay. What is it? Pork. Yeah. Okay. We uh, put it near your mouth and chew. Mm. I'm like, I don't know. Okay. Um, you want to try that one more time, do it? So, we put the jelly. It's so hard to poke. Yeah. And open your mouth. Put inside. Chew. Chew. Uh oh. <laughs> you want to do that one more time? Okay. So, what are the steps? Poke. Yes. Your knees. Open your mouth. Ah. Chew. Let's do it again. Hi, children. Yeah. What are you doing? Eating jelly. You are eating jelly? Nice. Who made them? Mommy. Mommy made jelly? Yeah. Alright. That's good. Uh, seems like there's not enough jelly. So, shall we make more jellies for us? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Hi everyone! Hi, welcome back to Computational Thinking 101. Now the boys love to eat jelly and as they are eating, they are repeating the steps of picking up the jelly. Mm -hmm. Yes, they, are, they actually pick up the jelly. And then what do they do? They open their mouth and then they put the jelly in the mouth and they chew. And so they keep doing that until the jelly is all in their stomach. <laughs> now, what are the steps it takes to make jelly? What are the steps? Okay, before that, what we need? We need to have the fruits. Yes, we need to have the fruits. We need to have the uh, mold, the, the jelly mold. Yes. And then we need to have the jelly. The jelly solution. So, what are the what are the what are the, the the steps? What is the first step that we need to do when uh, when when we need to make the jelly? Uh, put that the fruit. Okay, we like to do that. So you put the fruits in. Huh? What? Oh, lots of lots of fruits. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Okay, then what's the next step? Put the jelly solution. Okay, put the jelly solution. Okay, well done. Okay, one more. Okay, that looks good. That looks good. Oh, we're gonna come, come in a bit more. Okay, yes, okay. And then, okay, you put the, put the fruits, put more fruits. And put the, put the jelly solution. One. And to and then what is the next step again? Put the jelly. Put put the put the fruits. Put the fruits. Yes. Put the fruits. And we put the jelly solution. Now this is actually called a repeat function or a loop where a set of instructions is repeated a number of times or until another condition is met. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so will you like like to put put the put the food put the food? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the condition ends when we have uh, finished up our cut foods, or we have finished our jelly solution, or if we have finished simply finish uh, making the jelly in the mold, and we and we represent it this way where we would okay. Let's let's use this for okay, and I uh, show you a set of uh, cuts. Thank you. And what we have done is we add the fruits, we pour the jelly solutions, and we add the fruits, and we pour the jelly solution, we add the fruits, we pour the jelly solution, we add the fruit, and we pour the jelly solution until we have finished making all our jellies. Now, how can we simplify this? How can we simplify this? Yeah. Huh? 
How? How can we simplify? We simplify by using a repeat function. Okay, we simplify. Yes, with a repeat function. So, how many times do you want to do? Times 2, times 4, or even times 8. So, there are so many ways that we can do it. Now, can you think of other situations in everyday living that you have to repeat a that you have to uh, have a repeat loop. For example, let's look at our brushing teeth again. Uh, so if you were to divide your mouth into uh, four quadrants, how will you program a robot to brush all four quadrants? Brush each quadrant for 10 seconds in a circular motion, and then you move on to the next quadrant, and you brush each quadrant in a circular motion, and you move on to the next set, and so on and so forth. Now, another example that we have here, is moving up a flight of stairs where we have a Lego a flight of uh, Lego yes okay and if we are to program the Lego figurine to move so what will our first step be go up we will go up okay we'll go up what? okay that's okay go up now after that forward. move forward forward and then forward. move up Move forward, we like to show. Move up, move forward, move up, and move forward. Okay, yes. So we are coding our Lego figurine to move for up, forward, move up, move forward. And you can use the coding cards like this to create a sequence. And you can even simplify it accordingly. Plain, simple codes, or you can even use the repeat functions. It is all up to you. And you know what? You can also do a forever loop just for fun. As usual, thank you for joining us and have fun looking out for computational thinking examples around you. Have fun and goodbye! Bye.